Good morning. I'm Thomas Rohde, Archbishop of Mobile. I welcome you to the first day of our novena for the healing of our hearts and home. I welcome in a special way all Catholics, Christians of other denominations, and people of goodwill who are tuning in and who live throughout the southern 28 counties of Alabama, which comprise the Archdiocese of Mobile, our common home. I pray that this may be a powerful way in which we can join together as brothers and sisters, perhaps as never before, to humble ourselves before our God, asking him to pour out his mercy and grace upon us to heal our hearts and home. That is to use this trying time to draw us closer to God and to deliver us from this tragic pandemic. The term novena comes from the Latin word novum, which means nine, and is the traditional term Catholics use for a prayer that is offered for a special intention for nine successive days. Why nine days? Because after Jesus ascended into heaven, Mary and the apostles gathered together for nine days to pray for and await the coming of the Holy Spirit. Ever since the early church received the Holy Spirit on the ninth day, it has been a tradition to implore God for nine consecutive days with a petition of great importance. Tragedies, like the one we are facing, have a way of getting our attention and potentially drawing us closer to God. However, this is not automatic. We have to allow ourselves be humbled by the circumstances of life, renew our trust in God, and invite him to change us for the better. Otherwise, the same tragedies may easily make us cynical and bitter, leading us to resent God, if not to reject him completely. Consequently, as your brother in the Lord, I feel compelled to lead all of us in humbling ourselves before the only one who can, complete, who can completely heal our hearts in our common home, God. We just celebrated Easter, God's triumph over sin and death. Let us not be afraid to take this unique time as an opportunity to call upon the mercy and grace of God to triumph over this pandemic and all that threatens to draw us apart from God. Let us ask him to take this cross we bear and transform it with his mercy into the peace and joy of the resurrection. Let us pray that God may newly pour out his peace and joy over all the world in a particular way over all of us here in the southern half of Alabama. I have chosen to lead you in two prayers during this novena. One is the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. It is a prayer which Jesus himself taught to St. Faustina and asked her to spread around the world. One central prayer repeats throughout the chaplet. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. This is exactly what we need God to do in this time. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The other prayer is a litany of repentance, which highlights some of the ways that we have strayed from God. I have no idea why God is allowing this pandemic to affect our world. However, I do know it is an opportunity for us to slow down, realize what really matters in life, and turn towards God with new fervor. So let us kneel down together and ask God to heal our hearts and our home so that both may be filled with the peace and joy of the risen Lord. Let us pray. Let us offer this novena asking God to pour out his mercy and grace upon us 
to heal our hearts and home. That is to use this trying time to draw us closer to himself and to deliver us from this tragic pandemic here in the Archdiocese of Mobile, our common home. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended in hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
An atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy, holy immortal one, one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Litany of Repentance, Novena for the Healing of Our Hearts and Home. Father, have mercy on us. Father, have mercy on us. Son, have mercy on us. Son, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. For putting anything before you. We repent and believe in the gospel. For bringing dishonor to your name. We repent and believe in the gospel. For making idols out of money, pleasure, power, and fame. We repent and believe in the gospel. For trying to live apart from you. We repent and believe in the gospel. For being envious of one another hating each other because of their talents and failing to appreciate the talents you have uniquely given us. We repent and believe in the gospel. For allowing our pride to keep us from being obedient to those whom you have placed over us and from reaching out for help from you and our neighbors when necessary. We repent and believe in the gospel. For being blinded by greed, ambition, and lust for the things of this world. We repent and believe in the gospel. For all the things we do too much, eating, drinking, buying, hoarding wealth, gambling, or improperly seeking to be entertained by various forms of media. We repent and believe in the gospel. For all of the things we do too little, praying, forgiving, sharing, showing compassion, caring for the poor, and being mindful in each moment of the beauty of your creation. We repent and believe in the gospel. For anything to which we have allowed ourselves to become addicted, alcohol, drugs, shopping, social media, complaining, or any other thing or behavior. We repent and believe in the gospel. For failing to tell the truth, for withholding the truth from those who have a right to it, and for not being true to ourselves, and to God's call for us to love on his behalf. We repent and believe in the gospel. For all the sins of the church, especially those committed by her bishops, priests, consecrated men and women, and any other person publicly serving in her name. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not cherishing the gift of our lives and those of others as we should. We repent and believe in the gospel. For all our sins of the flesh, especially adultery, pornography, and any other offenses against the sacrament of marriage. We repent and believe in the gospel. For allowing abortion, euthanasia, capital punishment, self-harm, and suicide to become commonplace in our communities. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not being good stewards of the world with which you have gifted, gifted us. 
We repent and believe in the gospel. For failing to see the resources of the earth as personal gifts from you, and consequently failing to share them justly among all of your children, our brothers and sisters. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not taking the time to worship and thank you, especially on Sundays. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not taking adequate rest from our labors. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not getting enough sleep, not taking care of our bodies and not acknowledging our limitations as your creatures. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not making you the center of our homes and family life. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not spending enough time with our families, friends, and neighbors, and thus failing to establish the bonds of peace and love necessary to support our common good. We repent and believe in the gospel. For being too busy to properly care for our elderly, our children, the poor, and the other most vulnerable among us. We repent and believe in the gospel. For worshiping pleasure, youth, physical appearance, and any other passing thing of this life. We repent and believe in the gospel. For having an inordinate fear of death, our passageway to eternal life with you. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not taking the time to properly grieve, celebrate, and pray for our deceased brothers and sisters. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not putting our lives in your hands, seeking your guidance or listening to your callings. We repent and believe in the gospel. For taking your gifts of faith, hope, and love for granted and failing to allow them to flourish. We repent and believe in the gospel. For all unnecessary wars, murders, crime, and for the anger we have held in our hearts. We repent and believe in the gospel. For the hatred and prejudice we harbor against one another because of race, gender, culture, ethnicity, personality, weakness, or any other inherited trait. We repent and believe in the gospel. For hating others because of their religious beliefs, ideas, or political affiliations. We repent and believe in the gospel. For creating so many divisions in the body of Christ, and thus working against your son's hope that they may be one. We repent and believe in the gospel. For all the resentment we harbor, judges we, grudges we hold, and especially for our delay and at times refusal to forgive one another. We repent and believe in the gospel. For all we have done to offend you and to reject your perfect will for our lives and humanity as a whole. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not fully appreciating the gift of your son, Jesus, and for not fully accepting him as our Lord, brother, savior, and friend. We repent and believe in the gospel. For not cherishing you and your friendship above all else. We repent and believe in the gospel. Father, we love you. Father, we love you. Son, we love you. Son, we love you. Holy Spirit, we love you. Holy Spirit, we love you. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, with humble and contrite hearts, we place ourselves and our world into your hands. You alone have the power to completely deliver us from this pandemic. And we ask that you do so swiftly. You alone have the power to forgive our sins. And we ask you to do so mercifully. You alone have the power to breathe upon us the tragedy afflicting our world and make it an occasion for your peace and joy to newly be poured out upon the earth. And so we ask you to do so graciously. May we particularly, as your children here in the southern half of Alabama, seize this opportunity to draw closer to you and make you ever more the center of our lives. For it is you who lives and reigns forever and ever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of God be upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.